So today's video is going to be about ambers, um, but I have a special little take on that. Uh, yesterday, when I drove out to the countryside, I decided to that this was a perfect opportunity to actually compare two fragrances that I sort of find very similar. Um, one is Amber Sultan from Serge Lutens, and the other is Velvet Amber Sun from Dolce & Gabbana Exclusives. Um, this one is quite hard to find, at least here in Sweden. I, I mean, I know someone who has quite a good collection of these exclusives. I, I love them, a lot of them. They're very, very nice. Um, so I sprayed, I sprayed this one on my right, on my right arm, and this one on my left. And after like ten minutes driving, it really hits me how different they are. Uh, the notes, if you look at the listings of the notes, um, you would think that this one would be the heavier of the two because it has more notes like smoke, olibanum, um, opoponax, like resinous kind of, of, of notes. Uh, they both have myrrh, they both have benzoin, amber, uh, vanilla, I think. Um, but the smokier and darker of the two is definitely this one. And this one has uh, a beast mode performance and it completely took over. Uh, after a while, I could hardly smell this on my left arm. And I've tried this before all by itself, and I had no problems with the performance. I would say it's quite moderate or average. I was perfectly happy with it at least. But compared to this one, um, I had like three sprays of each. So definitely they need to be applied differently, depending, of course, on the occasion. But this I find Velvet Amber Sun <clears throat> Is I'm not saying this is is I like it anywhere any less because it's much more wearable. It's softer. It has no sharp edges. It's more vanillic. It's more feminine. It's um. It's it's smooth. It's just beautiful. I really really love this one. This one I also like, but I I find it maybe a little heavy. Like I wouldn't want to wear it all the time because it kind of it's kind of demanding. Um. This one has more base notes, it's muskier, it's woodsier, it's more resinous, it's smokier. It projects like a beast. It is, I kept getting like puffs of it. I could, I could tell that I was like giving off smell. I was going out and to see family and they, they noticed it like, oh wow, what are you wearing? Um, and I asked them which they preferred and they said this one, but I think like between the two, this one kind of took over because it's so loud and the other one didn't really get a fair chance to be sort of evaluated. Um, but it just kind of gave me uh, some thought, like I, I, how many ambers within the same kind of category do you need? I already have uh, this one, Ambre Lumiere uh, from Molinard, which is a great, uh, very affordable amber fragrance that's a little softer than this but a little bit more uh, smoky and resinous than this one. It has, uh, it has a little uplifting top of eucalyptus that gives it a little bit of a lift. I mean, things happen in this one. This is not a linear fragrance. It has an opening, a middle, and a dry down. Um, I also have uh, both Le Lion and Cormandel from Chanel. Uh, the question is, do you need them both? That could be questioned, but I really, I use them both. Uh, Le Lyon is spectacular. I think it's one of the best releases in the last couple years. Uh, I do apply it like three hours before leaving the house, um, especially if I'm going to meet new people and I'm not quite sure about, you know, what they think of, uh, of heavy fragrances because that is a heavy fragrance. It's very tarish opening, um, like a little bit shippy and it kind of settles down to a very nice uh, fragrance that maybe reminds me a little bit more of this one or a little of Coromandel, uh, where the vanilla uh, becomes a little bit more prominent. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of um, remind you of uh, what a good opportunity driving can be to actually you know, pay attention to your fragrances because, I mean, driving is something we do uh, kind of a little bit on autopilot. It's in our backbone. There's plenty of other of space for your like attention to to like notice the difference between uh, right and left and just spend that time uh, giving these fantastic fragrances the attention that they deserve. Well, you all have a nice weekend.